what does Oregon need to prove? Good question. This year, what does we've got a whole list of teams here spanning? I don't know. Number every corner yeah. of the country is like sixteen teams in this list. Yeah, but let's start with our own because those are the ones I think that we know the best. Oregon. What does Oregon need to prove to you, Dan? So Oregon. Uh, on a sort of micro level, they need to do better against killer quarterbacks, right? They were beat up at corner last year. They, you know, didn't get to Michael Penix in that Pac-12 championship game. And really the idea is they're just a big game team or big game lacking team in this moment. And last year it was those two Washington games. The year before it was what Washington and Oregon State where they blew the the rivalry game. To me, it's still going to be defense. I don't think Dylan Gabriel has much to prove as a college football quarterback. I don't think talent level, there's anything to prove. Oregon's in a really nice place. I really think it's Dan Lanning in those big, high leverage moments. We saw it against Washington on those fourth downs in the red zone, up against the clock at halftime. And we saw how they came out last year in the Pac-12 championship game, where it seemed like Washington was just better prepared. They had a better concept of what Oregon was doing on offense, it seemed. The Washington defense did. They were ready for that moment. And so to me, what Oregon needs to prove is moment readiness. And mm. you can say that like they're almost weirdly in a Penn State spot where yeah, yeah. At, on the face, it looks like a two game schedule this year with Michigan and Ohio State. All due respect to the rest of Oregon's schedule. Washington looks to be just a fully different program this year. Um, we'll see what Boise State looks like. But in terms of the quarterbacks they'll face and the teams and talent level that are on the rosters that they'll they'll face. They are a a moment readiness program at this time. And so it's Michigan on the road, Ohio State and Eugene. That's what Dan Lanning, that's what Oregon, because I think they're going to have dudes on both sides of the ball. I think they're going to have all Big Ten type talent, NFL type talent developing and continue to develop. It's what do they look like, you know, when it's 17, 13, three minutes before halftime down four against Ohio State. It's it's moment readiness. And I demand, Ty, I, as an Oregon human, I demand to see that Oregon come out of these games, even in a losing effort, that like it wasn't a, an unprepared to execute. It was just that team had a killer here, and there was nothing any team in the country could have done about it. And I don't necessarily put Will Howard in that category. I don't put Alex Orgy or whoever ends up starting at Michigan in that category. Oregon has every opportunity to prove it this year, and that's that last missing thing for them. Yeah. Hey, sorry for the quick interruption, but it'd be incredible if you considered subscribing to the Solid Verbal YouTube channel right down below. I, I understand that this is not a like-for-like like comparison. Right. Full disclosure. Sure. Oregon needs to prove that it's not Texas A&M Northwest. Ooh. Okay. And what I mean by that, a and has been winning, what, seven, eight games a year. Oregon's clearly been better than that. Right. But just from a recruiting angle, from that side of things, and how, as we know, recruiting shapes expectations. Yeah. Dan Lanning has kicked up so much dust on the high school, on the transfer portal recruiting fronts. At a minimum, at a minimum, expectation is what? Big 10 title hunt, making the playoffs, certainly making the playoffs, probably winning a playoff game or two. I think if they're not in Indy, the season's a failure. Yeah. Dan Lanning needs to prove that Oregon is not simply the latest hype train with big time recruits. Because we've seen programs like that come and go. That would not be a new occurrence in college football. I don't think Oregon is that team. I think right. Oregon is very much built for the long haul. I love Dan Lanning. There's a reason everybody wants to hire Dan Lanning. I'm not so you just concocted an analogy that you don't believe in. I'm saying, though, they need to prove that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fair enough. They need to prove as much. Okay. They need to prove. Dan Lanning needs to prove that he is the dude, that he can take those big name recruits and translate them into wins, not just so double digit wins and not right. beating Liberty in a Fiesta Bowl. But let's talk about a playoff. Let's so, talk about what that looks like. In this case, it's sticking the landing off of the, the 10 meter platform. It would be sticking the landing. It's yeah. the flips, it's the twists, and it's entering the water seamlessly with only a few droplets. Yeah. Yeah. I that's felt the bar. a little I felt a little wrong making that comparison to AM. Yeah, so I, I don't know apologize. who it is. Who because Oregon has that reputation and has had that reputation with others, right? That they're like, okay, they're a West Coast power. 
but yeah. that next step isn't there. Even though you know they've won Rose Bowls, they won the Fiesta, they won a Fiesta, at least a Fiesta Bowl. I think they won right this year and Kansas State way back. Um, that they're a next step team. They're not just a a regional diving power. They're Olympian hopefuls. <laughs> this okay. diving analogy is so clunky, but yet it is. Sticky. It works. I can it see the, work. The, the the sort of sparkle in your eyes. 